signs. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how many signs we have out front. That's those are too small to put up. Ours are huge. Uh, so anyhow, let's see here. We got the heat gun in. I've already used it to heat up my uh, rust bath because it had to be over seventy degrees and it was chilly in here. And uh, the iron came in today. And uh, let's see, with the iron, they sent me some ski wax because <laughs> that's what the iron's actually for, but we're using it to iron the uh, cloth that goes on the wings of the plane. So you have to have the heat gun and the iron. Um, just so you know, and I kept myself, or I kept this to myself till I got mine. Uh, Japan's not going to be sending these to the United States anymore. Uh, so the first one I ordered got delayed and then canceled and refunded. And that was from the main distributor. Uh, they've changed your distributorship agreement for the United States for whatever reason. So uh, I went around a couple of ski places in the United States. It was almost 200 bucks. This is the iron used to shrink the fabric. <clears throat> then I went to a Canadian ski shop and got it for $100 brand new and got some free uh, wax. So uh, that was the cheapest place to get it. I don't know if they have any more in Canada. But uh, if you ever plan on covering your wings and needing the Toco T14 or T14 Digital, better get one now and just put it on a rack because you may not be able to get it later. Uh, got the uh, better sandblaster gun and the uh, foot pedal. And uh, I'm supposed to be running 45 to 60 pounds, I think, 40 to 65 pounds, something like that, air. So I'm going to go over to Lowe's, take the back of this off, and take it with me. And um, I can use pretty much any kind of hose that's rated to 60 pounds because the I'm going to hook it directly to the air compressor and I use the regulator of the air compressor to control it. The air compressor goes to 150. And so I'm going to wire this right into the air compressor so I get full flow and put the air compressor near the sandblaster and uh, just hose clamp all this stuff together. And uh, so I don't need a real air compressor line that's small inside. I'll get me some big, big hose and hook it up. So I get lots of air flow. And uh, today is Tuesday. It's cold as crap here today. Cloudy, rainy. Wednesday and Thursday, same kind of crap going on. Friday it warms up. Saturday and Sunday is really nice. So uh, between now and Friday morning, I plan to have all this hooked up and done and ready to go. And I think Friday, I'm going to sandblast this. That'll give me Friday night and part of Saturday to, you know, acetone bath it and bake it and gas it off and all that and get it ready to spray. So I may be spraying this either Saturday or Sunday. And uh, then once that's done, uh, well, actually, I probably but I should probably get this done by uh, Saturday because I also need to sandblast the pistons and cylinder head and do them. Well, let's see here. Uh, the cylinder heads are on here, so if I sandblast them. I probably ought to get them baked and done before I take them back off of here to do them for the internal spray because i got to spray them inside too with a different coating. So uh, let's see. If I can get that done Saturday, then maybe Sunday I can do the pistons in the, in the cylinder head chambers. Then basically all the Cerakoting will be done by Sunday. And uh, then I can take this whole sandblasting thing apart and throw it in the barn and put it on Craigslist or something and sell it because I won't need it again. And uh, let's see. Then once I get that done... I got to put the focus on getting those wings covered because my glue expires December 15th and I still got to order the plywood that goes on the wing tips. I'm going to do that this week. So we're going to have to shift from the engine to the wings, get that crap done, and then come back to this. So once I get this sandblasted and coated, hopefully by this weekend, uh, we probably won't see this again until December.